Okay, we're at our booth here at Main Street um, Antiques and Interiors, and we're going to do a little bit of fluff. We're gonna add a table. So, let's get busy. new stuff we're gonna be adding today we're just sticking with that same kind of color palette like the neutrals and the the browns this thing is so cool look at that it's a quail yeah it's a quail how cool is that thing it's got the wooden base it's so cool yeah and then we can put some other stuff yeah, like you can still see the art. You know, Amanda does that a lot too, is where she'll put something. Like let's say she put that, but there's still something in the, in the back. Yeah. Of it, and it doesn't, you still can see it, but she does kind of layer. Right. I like that. And then it's black and black. It looks good. Like those pieces could go together. Oh my God, yes. They really could. Huh? Yeah. but it's still eclectic like what our, you know, oh, it goes, it. it's the natural neutral tones mm -hmm. that go with our stuff. So I like, my, I like to have books, but I like to open them and I like that to have to show, sold. yes. Remember that handle sold so fast when you had it open? Right, but that's just it though. I like doing that kind of stuff. Fast way to clean your items, baby wipes. Takes all the gr grungy grunge off of everything. Lighting. I'm freezing. 
All right, guys, we went in, we fluffed, yeah. we put some new stuff. Lexi did some really good vignettes, changed some stuff up um, while I tagged and sat on my booty. And <laughs> Usually it's the other way around. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> we decided, or she decided, that instead of doing a full booth reset this time around um, for that, like, wintry spring that we were aiming for with like the neutral colors but adding in like the florals and everything we're gonna do it kind of step by step going in there one day and taking everything out and putting everything back in like we did right the last we're gonna kind of cut it up yeah so we added in today like those was it odagari cups the odagari cups we added yeah, the they have um, the brown coloring but they have the florals on them so it's definitely right right cool just thing. as hints yeah. hints of um spring of spring we're bringing in with keeping with the neutral colors and stuff. Yeah. No, it looks good. It looks really good. It, it's a fresh look. And that table that you brought in added some height. Yes. We were able to stack and add some height, which we've been missing. Right. Um, since our other table sold. Yes. So, but that took way longer than it should have, though, because we spent like 30 minutes at the beginning where we have something that is gone from our booth, but we don't know where it's at. So we yeah. were kind of looking around because sometimes people will pick something up, change their mind, and then put it back in the wrong booth. Hopefully that's the case and it turns up. Um, and so that took a good bit of time, and then we had some vendors come in. Yeah, we always um, like to talk, and, so we ended and, up talking. Yeah, and and visit with yeah, the the so. vendor, our neighbors. Otherwise, it was pretty quick. We we did it pretty quickly. Just want I just want us to do a little bit at a time, and then we'll, it'll be the complete refresh. Yeah, you know, our revamp that we wanted, just not in the massive. Yeah, overtaking that we're we gonna do, have we to usually finesse do. that whole reset. Yes. Thing. But uh, it, it is a, a good, good idea. It's a fantastic Great idea. Concept, yes. But I think it's definitely something you have to finesse. And then I think even just having the right equipment for it, like the right plan of action. <laughs> or having everything priced. Yeah. <laughs> Already before it goes. I had a lot of stuff priced. And then I just bought some stuff, so we I had to sit and price. Yeah, we didn't have to clean it, but yeah, it was I went such to a small an estate sale yesterday. It's not a big deal when it's small. It was bad mm -hmm. whenever we like. I also added um, floral. I added some dried eucalyptus, and I added some dried lavender, which sells really well too. It's always good to have stuff like that. Our booth smells so good. Now. Yeah, it's convenience too. You know, yeah. you, you buy that, you buy you know a vase, mm -hmm. and you've already got it. You don't have to go right. anywhere else well, to get. Well, it's also stuff. showing like how you can use it. Right. In the setting, you know, like, oh, well, I don't have to go, oh, look how good this looks in this jar. I'll just grab it or vase or whatever. Right. Uh, Thumbs up. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> uh, Guys, we, are, we got 50 subscribers and I was so excited. Yeah, we're really excited about that. So just keep. Yeah. Thank you so much for your support and comment below. Let us know what you think about our booth. Um, and I will talk to you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.